Hello everybody and welcome to God of the Dead. What is God of the Dead? Well, it's me playing Seven Days to Die with the general idea that I... Well, will become... Well, I guess immune to the dead? Is that, a that is a lot of garbage bags right there. And what the f are those zombies? Are they just regular nude zombies? They look weird. Hmm. Anyways... So, let's see, I actually have a list up, because I keep forgetting what I'm saying, because this is about the, mm, I don't know, fifth time that I've recorded this? Well, attempted to record this anyways. What the fuck? Do I hear a baby? Ooh, cooking pot. That's a hell of a start. That's a hell of a start. Okay, run the hell away. I swear I heard a baby screaming. I don't know this biome. I've never seen this biome before. Uh, I need grass. I'm already distracted from my list of things to do. All right, let's see. Let's, let's, let's. What is seven days to die? I'm reading my uh, list. What is seven days to die? Well, seven days to die is a zombie survival horror crafty game. Kind of like Minecraft but better graphics and actually scary at times. Definitely nerve-wracking, to say the least, that I've actually learned how to play. Ooh, shit. Run the hell away. I haven't had a chance to make a uh, axe yet. So what do you do in there? Well, you run away from zombies. Yeah, those are just regular zombies. It's nothing special. Good. I didn't want to learn about a new type of zombie. Boop. Yeah, you run away from zombies very quickly. You craft things to survive. You find books. And apparently, there's an overall point to this game. Because on the first page of the official Seven Days to Die wiki, it says, and I quote... And that's pretty much what you'll do as you fight to survive and search for the truth behind what really happened. So apparently there's supposed to be a point to this game, not just you're running around surviving like Minecraft. But apparently there's actually like a story involved, which is really cool actually. And kind of makes sense considering the newspapers are a little contradictory. Uh, some of them suggest that it's a virus... Uh, they think it's like a flu epidemic, and some of them think it's nuclear war. Now, I would assume that they wouldn't have gotten the nuclear war story wrong. So, I would assume that nuclear war did happen, which may have caused the flu epidemic, which caused all the zombies. But, I don't know, and I'm really, really, really hoping that it is, that I'm correct in this thought that there are there is like an overall point and there's a overall story because that would be awesome because that's the one thing that's missing from minecraft that house is floating partially uh that's one thing that's missing from minecraft and that is an overall story now what is it take two take two i think it's take two interactive uh, they are trying to take care of that problem by, t by b making Minecraft story mode, but, uh, that's not actually Minecraft, that's their take on Minecraft. There are a lot of zombies around, I can't pause long enough to make a f***ing axe. Come on, if I can pause long enough to make a bloody axe, I can actually defend myself a little bit. Hmm. Yes, as I said, uh, I did do a video of this before. That video was truly the first time I have ever played this game. I knew nothing about it at the time. I have since played a hell of a lot, thanks to a few people I know on Steam inviting me to join their 7 Days to Die group for a run-through. Haven't seen them on since, but, you know, can't play all the time. So they taught me a few things, a few very useful things, and I have since learned, whoa, uh, I have since learned a lot about the game. I have not learned everything about the game, nowhere near everything about the game. 
obviously, since I just said that I hope there is a story, because that would be awesome. All right. I still hear them walking. God damn it. I can't not get away from these bastards. Ah, they're everywhere. I don't like this biome. Mm, and I don't have much time. Well, I've got lots of time. That was a bunny. <laughs> Come on, something good, something good. Nope, nothing good. I'm hoping to find a weapon because I can't do anything right now. I know I could punch the zombies, but that takes a lot of time and a lot of risk, and I'd rather not do that. Crap, I got stuck by the sticks. All right, what else is on my list of things to talk about while I'm running away from zombies? Uh, I can hear them walking still. Am I being, like, hunted by, like, a billion zombies and they're just going to keep following me? Or do they eventually get bored and go away? Anyways, what else is on my list? The goal of this series. Okay, so the goal of this series is to be able to walk around the world with impunity. So I don't have to worry about anything. I don't have to run away from the zombies. I don't have to do anything special. I can just basically live a normal everyday life in the world completely overrun by zombies. That's my goal. And to accomplish that goal... I'm going to do anything and everything. If, uh, you know, any cheat, any glitch, anything outside of, well, things outside of the game. Basically, I will find any glitch, any, you know, workaround, anything that I can in-game. I will not be using mods. I will not be using cheats. It has to all be in-game, but if there is a glitch in the game, I will abuse the hell out of it. It'll be like, oh, I don't want to go to that biome. It'll be like Quest for Creative, where I will do whatever I have to do to accomplish my goal, except for going outside of the game. That should work, right? I mean, that makes sense. All right, so that's, that's, that's cool. Hopefully this time recording it is better. I mentioned that this is like the fifth time I've re recorded this, uh, this, uh, this, tried to record this series, I should say. Uh, there's a couple reasons for that. I think part of the reason is that this game is still alpha, so it's a little hard to actually do things with. But before that, it was just problem after problem after problem. Everything was failing. Everything was breaking. Uh, my microphone refused to record, even though I have used the microphone to record many times on this particular install of Windows. I mean, my last vloggy flink thing I used to record with this mic, or I used this mic to record. Wait. But for some reason now, it just suddenly... Ooh, lamb rations. Nice. Those are better than the... I have no idea why I bothered with the door. Um, the lamb rations are better than the chili that I have that I start with because the chili gives you the farts. I, I'm not joking when I say that. It makes you stinky and attracts zombies. So the lamb rations are slightly better. I want to stay the hell out of there because I don't know if you can hear it. You hear that crunching noise? Those are really, really, really nasty zombies. They're... That guy right there. They are vicious little bastards. I hate them. They hit hard. Uh, is that another biome over there? No, it's the same biome. So basically, I'm going to walk along... Oh, hey, it's a road. Ooh, which way should I go? Which way should I go? Crap. Uh, I want to stay out of this biome, but I don't want to go back into this biome. Fucking hell. But I do want to follow the road, or at least try to. Because the road tends to lead to a city. Well, a town. Well, a village. Well, I don't even know if I'd call it a village. There are not many houses there. Or anything like that. So, alright. 
You are gonna be the first to die by my- Whoa! What the fuck are you? Burn victims! Ooh, cloth fragment. Those are useful. Okay, so... If there's no story to this game, if I don't find a story to this game, then I'm going to start making one. I'm going to count... Uh... I'm gonna count this area as nuked. This is gonna be a nuked biome. I'm sure it has a real name, but guess what? I'm calling it the nuked biome. Which would fit with the burn victims. Because they would have been burned by the flash. By the explosion. If they weren't completely incinerated. Glass jar. I don't have any... Anything to drink yet. I have a little bit of food. Oh, I have one jar of water. That's good. That's something. So, what I'm trying to do right now, or what I'm planning on doing for today, is to find a house that I can settle down in, which I can't do in this biome, and I'm not even going to try to do in the winter biome. There we go. Uh, yeah. So, uh, uh let's, let's try talking. It's words, you know, that kind of thing. I'm going to try to find a house away from a village where I can just basically set up a place to live where it'll be nice and safe. So preferably out in the woods somewhere, but I'm gonna have to get to the next biome to do that. So I'm gonna keep following this road as best I can. Maybe I'll come across the village and I'll just kind of dig through the village. Um, I don't know. I, uh, I'll i see what comes what comes. This uh, world that, I, that I'm in is not the pre-generated world. The Nazagin or whatever the crap it is. Uh, this is a randomly generated one, so I have a uh, seed and all of that fun stuff. Because I didn't want it pre-rendered. While it might make life a little bit easier performance-wise with it being pre-rendered, I didn't want something that everybody had already seen. So I named the thing, so I have a random seed. Well, relatively random. And yeah, so here we go. Ooh. Now the plan for this series, what I'm planning on doing for the episodes is that one day in game is going to equal where did the road go there's a road okay is that a pig yes that's a pig i'd go kill the pig but uh, carrying meat attracts zombies i want to avoid that right now i swear i still hear babies hmm. screaming whining babies i don't know the mouse is a little sensitive not quite used to it yet. Ooh, there's another road. All right, let's run this way, away from the zombies. Trash. Something good, something good, nothing good. Yeah, uh, so one day in-game is going to equal one episode. At night, I'm not going to edit in that video uh, because normally at night, I spend my nights cowering in a corner Hiding from zombies and not moving much. So there's not really much to do. Uh, there's not really much uh, to record, I should say. But I am going to keep recording in case something does happen. Because in my single player world, uh, something seriously crazy happened at night. So I will continue to record at night. But I won't edit that video in. I have a cooking pot. I'm not worried about it. Scrap iron, I'm not worried about right now. Woo. More burn victims. Hello. Come here. Ugh. Yeah. Is that everything on my list? That's most everything on my list. There's a couple other things that I wanted to add, like uh, DX Tori was giving me crap to record. I actually went through three D 
different recording software to get this to actually work. Craps just straight up refuses to work with this game. Boop. Keeps glitching out. Every, like, 10, 15 seconds, it would freeze. And it would just completely screw up the sync with the audio. Ugh, there's a lot of zombies. I need to just keep running. Yeah, so fraps just straight up didn't work. Look, flu epidemic. Uh, I tried, uh, what is that called? That NVIDIA thing. Uh, shadow, wait, no. Something, I forget what it's called. But the NVIDIA screen recording thing. Screen shadow? Shadow? No. I forget what it's called. But, yeah, I tried that software. It's supposed to work with anything that works with DirectX. This game is supposed... It says it requires DirectX, so I would assume that it runs on DirectX. However, it... You know, Shadow Play or whatever the frack it's called... Doesn't catch this game. So it doesn't work. So then I tried DX Tori. And it didn't work either. It did the same exact thing as Fraps did, it, where it would freeze up every couple of seconds and then throw off the audio sync, which was really annoying. Boop. So I tried uh, setting it up so that the audio, both channels, would be recording, so my voice would record and the game audio would record through DX Tori. And it fixed the freezing issue. Well, it fixed the sync issue, I should say. It didn't fix the freezing issue. It still froze and cut off the audio. So the audio froze at the same exact time as the video froze. So that wasn't going to work. Please tell me I'm not going back on myself. I am not. All right, keep running. It is 1,300 hours. That's uh, 1.17 p.m. to normal people. So I've got a little bit of time. It usually doesn't get dark until 2100 hours, so apparently it's the middle of bloody summer around here. Oop. Any good, any good? Nothing good. Still hoping to actually find something useful. I'm also hoping that this road will take me to the next biome. Ooh, that's promising. That's promising. Please tell me it's not a winter biome, because I don't want to live there. Nope, I see grass. Green, green grass. Very good, very good go. I'm getting the hell out of this biome. Screw this biome! <sighs> out of stamina. Ooh, I'm out of food, too. Alright, keep walking, keep walking. Let's get something to eat real quick. I don't want my wellness to go down. I very, very much want to keep my wellness up. Because your wellness is what calculates your health and your stamina. So the higher your wellness, the more health you can, the max, more max health you have and the more max stamina you have. So it's, you know, very, very useful. Come on, there we go. Nothing good. Always search the zombies. You never know what you're gonna find on zombies, especially if you get the nurse zombies in those very creepy Halloween costumes. The nurse zombies are just, they're always giving you medical stuff. Bottled water, chicken ration, very nice. So I got more rations, this is good. No, that's a cheerleader. <laughs> you can tell I've gotten used to playing this game because I'm actually calling the zombies what they are. Keep moving, keep moving, pick up some cotton. The cotton and the goldenrod plants are insanely useful. Because the cotton will give you the first tier of armor. And hope you hopefully keep you alive long enough to find the book for the second tier of armor. Now I say find the book because that's how you learn new things. That's how you learn how to craft new stuff. You have to find the books for them. Ooh, moldy bread, that may end up being useful. You can create uh, antibi antibiotic from the mold, which will be very useful. I don't know if I need a recipe for it. Uh, I might have to read the Wikipedia on that one. Not sure. 
bloop. Uh, still hoping to stumble upon a nice house. The first single player game that I did with this, not the not the not the one that I was recording, but the first real one where I actually knew what the hell I was doing. I stumbled upon a nice cottage in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the forest somewhere. And it was a really, really nice place. Away from the road, can of ham. Sh sham! Oh, oh, I get it, I get it, I get it, okay, I get it. That's where the sham sandwich comes from. The meat is called sham. I get it. I get it. Okay. That's something that we thought was like a typo or a glitch or something. Nope. Not a typo, not a glitch. Uh, if I can find a house, that is totally going to be where I set up shop. And I will fight to keep it. Oops. Or at least a shack. If I can find a shack, that would be nice. There's a good place to go mining, if I can ever find, you know, if I can ever actually get to that point. Oop. Anything good? Anything good? Painkillers. Painkillers are useful because they heal you. I don't know why painkillers heal you, considering they just, you know, take away the pain. They don't actually do anything. But painkillers heal you. I guess you get to ignore the pain long enough to heal naturally, I guess. I don't know. Let's go with that. That'll work. And these zombies are really, really loud in my head. I need to turn down the audio. Oop, stick. More goldenrod. Goldenrod you can use to make goldenrod tea. Which is really good. It's good for hydration. Quack. 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 Stone axe. Very useful. Glass pane. No idea what a glass pane is for. I really don't, because I can make wooden window frames that have glass in them with sticks. I don't need glass to make the window frame, so I have no idea what the window panes are for, what the glass panes are for. I'm not sure. They might be for something else, but I don't know what. I don't know everything about this game. I know a lot about this game. I don't know everything about this game. Okay, keep moving, keep moving. Not having much luck. So far, I've just been running around gathering things. Look, I found a random foxhole. Hmm. Wonder what that was for. Maybe it was a meteor. Possibly. God only knows how long it's been since this whole thing happened. <laughs> we found out in the first episode of me playing this that uh, radiation zones exist. So it can't have been more than, what, 36 years ago? Somewhere around there? I found a road. Is it the same road by chance? Did I loop back it on myself? I wouldn't be surprised if I did, I'd do that. Let's look at the map real quick. I did loop back it on myself. Wait, what? Wait, what? How am I here? I did- I must have. I must have gone around like this and looped back in on myself. God damn it. Ugh. Well, let's go this way and see what's over here. Again, still looking for a nice cottage in the woods somewhere. Some place with a nice, you know, nice view overlooking the forest. So I can see things are coming. Because I'm apparently not paying attention. Oh, what are you? Oh, you're a village. Okay, let's go visit the village. Not a place I'd want to camp out for the night. But it's a village. Alright, let's see what I can do about these, you know, jerks. That's two down. This is where you find all the good stuff is uh, in villages. 
I get the feeling that there's zombies right behind me. And there's one. Not a problem. Okay. I'm concentrating on killing things. Oh, I'm stunned. Crap, 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 crap. Die. Okay. Whoa. Um, hmm. Maybe this is not going to work out. Maybe I should just keep running. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Maybe I can catch some luck later. Ooh, there's a store right there. Oh, I so want to go digging through this stuff. There are so many fucking zombies around. Should be able to get in here fairly quickly. Might have to fight my way out, but I should be able to get in here very quickly. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright, I see a zombie coming for me. So let's search this place quick. Nothing. Nothing. Jars. This place sucks. I want to have to cut my way through to get everything else. That's not happening. Not with that many zombies right there. There we go. Okay, time to get the hell out of here. All right. All right. Let's remember that that little village is there. Hopefully we can find a place around here. And we can raid the vill village later on. I apparently am thirsty. Well, at least I have water. That's not water. There we go. That ought to help. Oh, it still thinks I'm thirsty. There it goes. Now it's gone. Now it's gone. Bloop. Come on, show me a cottage, show me a cottage. What the heck? Uh, it's getting annoying. The, the, the... Last game I did on this, I found a cottage out in the middle of nowhere. It wasn't even anywhere near a road, so that's what I'm hoping for now. The only major problem with that place was it was in... A zombie road. Now, I don't know if this is actually a thing in the game, but quite regularly, herds of zombies would walk over my back porch. They wouldn't detect me or anything. They wouldn't sense me. They would just walk over my back porch at, on their way. Now, I gotta admit, I really do like that about this game. Ooh, there we go. There we go. There's a place. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but the last place I was at was perfect. I mean, the, the first floor was made out of cobblestone. I am going to fight my way into this place. This place is now mine. Seriously. And that zombie's making things easier for me by ch cutting down the door. Alright, I'm gonna clear out the rest of the zombies while that guy's cutting his way out. Nope, don't, don't cut up my fence that I can't rebuild. You can't build those fences, at least not that I found. Painkillers. Alright, moving along. Zombies do despawn, so I'll try to catch them every now and then. Yes, this is going to be my home from now on. Come on. Yeah. Did you die, you bloated ass walker? The bloated zombies are actually have the most um, good stuff in it. In them. Except for the police zombies, but I've never once seen a police zombie. I think they're only in cities, but I haven't seen any police zombies in any cities. So I don't know if I'm just not going to the right cities. I'm bleeding out. Crap. Alright, so I just need to use this real quick. There, now I'm not bleeding out anymore. 
My wellness dropped. Crap. Alright. But I'm not infected. This is good. Alright, so I got a zombie over there that I gotta worry about. Let's repair this up real quick. I got a crawler right there. Now I got a dead zombie in my house. Don't worry, it'll despawn. Don't care about you. I saw a crawler. There's a bloated walker. There's another lady zombie. I know I saw a crawler around here somewhere. Crawlers are hard to see. There they are. There it is. All right. I think that's why they put crawlers in here is because they're that hard to see. They keep the game interesting. Same with the climbing zombies. Come on, there we go. You're dead. Are we done? Do I hear any more? I do not hear any more. This is good, this is good. Is there anything in you, or did I already search you? Ooh, cloth fragment, those are useful. You already despawned. Alright, so I have windows to repair. Okay. There's no glass in that window. Search corpse, can candy tin, don't care. Trash pile, feather. No idea what the feathers are for. Not yet anyways, bottled water, good. Egg. Let's see, what's in our refrigerator? Corn! And look! Our refrigerator is running. Nice. Lots of storage space, this is good. More bottled water. Sweet. Having some luck with this place so far. Ooh, can of chili. Track zombies, but you know what? It's food. And we can, don't care. Let's repair our cupboard. I love this stone axe. It does like everything and it's so easy to make. It takes forever to do anything, but it's very nice. Uh, scrap iron. Guess I didn't need to grab that because it doesn't matter. Bookcase, nothing. Crap. What's in you? I already looked in you. Oh, this is a nice place. Ooh, a bed. Red plaid shirt. I don't have to be half naked anymore. Well, I don't have to be all naked anymore. There we go. Now I don't have to be half naked anymore. Boop. Because, yeah. That's, that's my character. Now I can actually put on clothes. There we go. Now if I could find boots, that would be useful. Right. Let's see what behind the door that they had to heavily, heavily reinforce from the other side. From like this side, not the side that would need the reinforcing. What time is it? 18.19. I still got plenty of time. Just keeping an eye on everything, seeing how it goes. Yeah, I really like the stone axe, but it does take forever to do pretty much anything with it. But it's so easy to make things with, it's so easy to use. Or, it's so easy to make, it's so easy to use. That it's just kind of invaluable. Because it's something, it's just that simple. You need a stone, you need a piece of grass, you need a stick. And that's it. And boom, we have another stone axe. Now the other axes, like the fire axe, is really nice. It's fast, durable, useful. But it doesn't do nearly as much as this thing does. This thing will dig in the dirt, it will chop down logs... Uh, it will repair things, it will kill things, though the axe does that too. Come on. What do I see in there? I see a bed. This may be a nice place to put a bed. Because I can put a door up. And I it'll be a last ditch defense point. I am going to have to put up a door downstairs. So that means we're going to have to chop down some logs chop down some trees to get logs. 
Come on. I'm not kidding when I say it takes forever to do anything. Uh, but it's going, it's slow going, but it's going. Usually there are really good things behind these doors. Gun safes, that kind of thing. Maybe, maybe, maybe I could find a book for leather. Because to make leather armor, you have to learn how. And that kind of sucks. <laughs> I guess that makes sense, though, because I don't know how to make leather armor. Then again, I don't know how to make cloth armor either, so... That is a bit of a difference. Hmm. Ah, still chopping, still chopping. Apparently I'm hungry. That'll be something to pay attention to. Tonight, I will probably... Uh, just live off of what I have in my inventory right now, just the rations and such. Yay, anything good. Ooh, gun safe, medical cabinet, blood bag, health, fullness, and hydration. What do I do, drink it? Gun safe, takes 30 bloody seconds to actually open. Wow, this is going. I just want to point this out that I think it's really, really nice. Look how high resolution these textures are. They are really nice textures. This game looks really pretty. I mean, just look at this bird here, the eagle. It doesn't look pixelated or anything like that. It looks worn down. I just really like it. It's a really good resolution. All right, so pump shotgun stock, shotgun barrel, shotgun pump. All right, so I have a very large amount of what I need to make a shotgun. Except for the fact that I have no idea how to make a shotgun. Can I pick up the bed? E to pick up an old bed. All right, so now if I put down an old bed. Boop. Boop. There we go. This is my home. See, now I have a home on the compass down at the bottom of the screen. And it's pointing at my bed. So if I die, I'll spawn here. I will always have that on my compass so I'll know where to come. So I can go home. Let's see, I have already searched there. Let's let's do a little cleanup. I love that I can do that. Can I do that with the person? Because I don't want a dead guy sitting in the corner of my house. Ew. <laughs> but, um, yes, apparently I can. I have a trash can. This is nice. Do I have anything else I need to clean up? There's that bag upstairs, but that's it. Alright, zombies. Uh, no zombies. Alright, this is good, this is good. Chop me down some trees so I can make a door. Because I don't have that much longer. I have a little over an hour before it gets dark. Before night comes. So I need to make a door so I can... Hopefully be safe at night. That's actually enough wood. Repair that. Anything else needs repaired? No? Okay. Wood log. No, I won't take all of those. Let's just take three of them and turn them into wood planks. I chop down one tree and I get seeds. Nice. Uh, what, what was I gonna do? What was I gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna keep some of my logs in case I want to make a campfire, but I don't think I'm gonna make a campfire right now, because I'm not planning on cooking anything. I don't really have anything to cook, so I'm not worried about making a campfire. Um, there we go. So I have secure wooden door, which I can just plunk down right there. And... Because I have these wooden planks in my inventory, I can do this. Now that door's upgraded. I can't... What the hell? Oh, is it using... Yes, it used the iron scrap that I had. Remember, I grabbed it and I said I didn't need to grab it? That's what it did. It reinforced the door with the iron scrap. Awesome. And I can reinforce the windows. 
I can actually do several layers of that. Which one was broken? That one needs fixed. So let us... If I can remember how to do this exactly. Yep, that's how I do it. So let's craft me a new window. Uh, plunk. Alright. I don't think I can fix this, but I can do this. Oh! What the hell? Interesting. Alright, so night has fallen. I have a torch, so I'm going to put a torch up here. Do I have a window? I do have a window. But that shouldn't be a problem. Let's put the torch there, just so I have a little bit of light. I will upgrade these windows. I have no idea why, actually, thinking about it. That's kind of worthless. But I will also make another wooden door... Bloop. Craft. I do kind of like crafting in this game. Because I can just look up what I want to make. Oh. I can plant goldenrod. Nice. I wonder if I can plant two goldenrod for every one. That would be useful. Alright. So now I want you on that side. And then I want to upgrade you. I don't think I can do it again, no. I don't have any spare steel, or iron, or whatever, scrap. There we go. Alright, so, this is my house. Oh, oh. Sweet. I have a campfire. Nice. Nice. Alright. And this is a relatively nice place. So I should have a lake somewhere around here. I don't know where, but I should have a lake somewhere around here. Can I see anything outside? No. Hmm. Oh, I already looked in there. Alright. What I should do, and what I'm probably going to do... Yeah, this is a good place to do it. Build a ladder up the wall here to the roof... So, I can stand on the roof and look out over my domain. And, uh, see when zombies are coming. That kind of thing. Alright, it is 2100 hours. I tend not to wander outside after 2100. And, uh, before 7. So, after... Let's see, 2100 counts as 9pm. So, after 9pm... And before 7 a.m., I tend not to wander outside. So, I'm going to end this episode here unless something interesting happens. Uh, let's do a chicken ration real quick. Hydration goes down, but I have plenty of bottled water. Um, 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 um. And let's get something to drink real quick. And then tomorrow, in the next episode... Or should I say in the next episode tomorrow or whatever. I will... Basically I'm saying tomorrow in game, not necessarily tomorrow in reality. So in the next episode, I will go out and I will track down a water source. That'll be useful. And now that we have a centralized hub with a bed and everything. So we actually have a home now. We'll go back to that village and see if we can clear out enough zombies to go raid the village. So, look forward to that. I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.